the shit out of everybody they face. The 49ers kick the shit out of the Ravens Here. on Monday night. The 49ers kick the shit out of the Ravens Here. on Monday night. I'm sorry, I know that's disrespectful to the Ravens, but let's be realistic. Fly across the country on Christmas night, and the 49ers are waiting. If it's a Super Bowl preview, the Super Bowl is going to suck because the 49ers, as long as those guys are healthy, they're going to run over everyone. Now, before you go to the comments to absolutely thrash Mike Florio for actually saying this out loud, silver lining here, I mean, he wasn't wrong. Because if this was a Super Bowl preview, hell, we should just call the season right now. Because this Ravens team, whether it's the offense, the defense, the special teams, the coaching, it is literally the whole nine yards with these guys. Even despite injuries and all, you cannot find a weakness. And sure, while around 27 million people got to witness what this team was about, out firsthand with what we just saw on Christmas Day, there's something very specific that I noticed this team has started to do recently that honestly, I'm not sure if anybody else is even realizing. But before we get into that, today's video is brought to you by our friends at DraftKings. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the most wonderful time of the year, okay? Because it's not just the holiday season, it is also the peak of football season. And our friends over at DraftKings Sportsbook, they've got an offer that you do not want to miss. Because for any new customers who download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use promo code DIGEST and bet just $5 on any wager, you'll receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. And if you're already signed up at DraftKings like myself, you can get a no sweat bet on any same game parlay or SGPX and receive a bonus bet back if it doesn't hit with max reward limits applied. And don't worry, because if sports betting still isn't available in your state yet, you can't go wrong with the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app. So once again, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, new customers use promo code DIGEST and bet just $5 to receive your $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DIGEST only at DraftKings sportsbook. All right, let's get back on topic with the Baltimore Ravens. Because when you're talking about this team, while it's pretty clear for one major reason or another with what the Ravens did over the course of this offseason, whether it be the addition of Todd Munkin, the drafting of Zay Flowers, or even the signing of Odell Beckham Jr. for that matter, almost everyone out there thought the offense was going to be stealing the show for these guys on a week-to-week -week basis. And don't get me wrong, it's been formidable to say the absolute least in terms of what they've been doing on the field. But honestly if you really haven't been paying attention to this team that much, the last couple of weeks have been a night and day difference in terms of the Ravens operation on offense. In fact, it probably wouldn't even be a stretch to say the defense has been absolutely carrying this team. I mean, we saw it in the Christmas Day Massacre again and again and again, but when we see this team finally have an offense that is not only clicking on all cylinders, but is also beating teams in a fashion that we have never seen from them before yeah i i don't think the rest of the league is too happy with what they see now, it's no secret that with the Baltimore Ravens transition over to their new offensive coordinator and play caller in Todd Munkin this season, that it was going to take some time before we saw some fluidity in the offense. That's the situation with any team in a transition in coaching. And while some of those struggles were very clearly seen in specific areas early on, such as their red zone offense, their pass game efficiency overall, etc. But uh, then there's what he's done for Lamar Jackson this season. And don't get me wrong, guys, because I know when getting into the MVP conversation that some people don't necessarily agree that the overall numbers that Lamar Jackson has put up over the course of the 2023 season are necessarily worthy of someone who is the current frontrunner at this point in time. But in terms of, say, his completion percentage, his overall yards per game, and even a number of different areas, including turnovers, it might be the most efficient season of his entire career. And sure, everything that we're seeing out of Lamar has been phenomenal so far, but where exactly is this guy making that difference? Now, honestly, there's only two words that I need to perfectly describe the changes that we've seen in Baltimore's offense this season, and more so, why nobody can stop them. And those two words are pocket presence. Because if you've noticed this at all, really since September, the major essence of what Todd Munkin wanted to do on offense was A, surround this offense with playmaking and play extending capable wide receivers, which, uh, yeah, they did that just fine.
But B, they also essentially wanted to limit what Lamar Jackson did with his legs on the field and almost force him into developing a pocket passer mindset. I mean, take any game for example this season, and you will definitely see it in the film, but it's also undeniably in the numbers, as Lamar is rushing for the least amount of yards per game that we've ever seen from him. And when you have a team that continues to bolster and improve their offensive line like Baltimore does, through guys like Kevin Zeitler, recent additions, and guys like Morgan Moses, Tyler Linder, bomb etc there is definitely a reason why most quarterbacks in football can't post a top three pocket time and a top five pressure percentage like lamar jackson and whether it's the improvements that you see because of this in things like lamar jackson's footwork and timing maybe the expanded use in their wideouts like zay odell nelson Aguilar, and rashad bateman to attack the middle of the field in short game routes it's all clearly been for the better whether it be the pass game or the run game in terms of this offense's unpredictability but but I gotta ask, have any of you guys noticed the drastic change this team has made over these last couple of weeks? Now, in order to see the change that I'm referring to, a recent quote from 49ers edge rusher Nick Bosa tells you all you need to know. Because when he was asked about how the Baltimore Ravens offense continues to move the ball so effortlessly, he commented on Lamar Jackson saying, quote, I think he adjusted how he played. Throughout the year on tape, he was kind of sitting in the pocket and going through his reads. Tonight, I think he was looking for that escape lane quicker and then finding guys downfield, which was super impressive. And yeah, it, uh, it, it turns out that the film testifies to Nick Bosa's statement. But the thing is, it wasn't just this game. Because over these last couple of weeks, we have seen Munkin and Harbaugh give Lamar Jackson so much more freedom in terms of how frequently he is able to extend plays out of the pocket. And by allowing him to do this, it's created a monster of a quarterback that defenses are not familiar with. For example, teams even like the San Francisco 49ers had become too comfortable at rushing a basic four at the quarterback, thinking that Lamar Jackson in most situations would sit in the pocket, go through his reads, and try to make a play. Linebackers drop back in coverage, not a spy in sight, and turns out the fastest quarterback in the league can pick up a 30-yard game with ease anytime he wants. I mean, this air attack's yards per attempt has improved drastically. Lamar Jackson's efficiency in the ground game usage has improved drastically. And you know, it's probably not a coincidence that ever since Lamar Jackson has been given this additional freedom, this offense has skyrocketed to a top three unit in all of football. And uh, that's not even mentioning the ground game that continues to shove the ball down any opposing defense's throat, no matter who is in the backfield. But guys, whether it's the only continuing to improve offense as the weeks go on, the otherworldly defense that we are seeing from this team week in and week out, or even anything else that I somehow missed, that's where I want to hear what you guys have to think. So please be sure to let me know in the comments what has been the most surprising part to you about this team over these last couple of weeks. And of course, if you had to, predict how far you see this team making it in the 2023 playoffs. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all more than anything. And I will see you guys in the next video.